So with this, it is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Marshall Rangi, the Dean of the Medical School and the Executive Vice President of Medical Affairs. So it's really great to be here today, um, and I'll tell you why in just a moment, but uh, I, I sort of feel like uh, my remarks are unnecessary. After uh, Sebastian's introduction and that great video, there are some potential stars there. We, we took a little vote before among Ramaji, Sebastian, and ourselves. I don't think you look scary at all. But uh, <laughs> um, that, that was a great video that I think really helped explain the breadth of what you've done. So the reason I'm so happy to be here, well, I'm happy to be here anyway, but one of the reasons I'm happy to be here is because this started as a, a very small group thinking about a vision, and that vision was, and uh, you, you enunciated it well, it's to improve health. So that's much broader than most uh, precision health or precision medicine initiatives that were being considered at the time, and, and I think it still is. And I think that breadth is uh, directly related to the success that all of you have had in collaborating across disciplines, across schools, and across the campus, which has so many resources, as you know. So as I think about that, that, that goal of bringing together that level of interdisciplinarity is a goal that's been at Michigan since I've been here, but probably long before. And I think there are two initiatives that I'm familiar with, really only two, that have managed to capture that. Um, one is Precision Health. Uh, the other is IHPI. And uh, I won't get a chance to write my bright ideas, which really don't happen very often. But uh, one, one thought is, as you move forward, to think about that intersection because that then adds additional breadth to ways in which you can improve health, can improve health. Um, so I just wanted to, to comment on a few of the things that uh, have you, you all have accomplished that I think are so very important and uh, will serve as a, as a guide to others who want to try to bring their ideas forward to accomplish similar goals. So first is this data resources and data sharing. Um, I cannot forget the, um, well, I could call it discomfort, or I could call it uh, unhappiness, or I could call it lots of different things, even more graphic. But the, the idea that the health system in the medical school was hanging on to data that people couldn't use. And uh, I myself was concerned about that, about the safety of that, but uh, that's one of the toughest areas to deal with as I talk to my colleagues, and you've made that happen. And you've made it happen in a safe way so that investigators, no matter what they're doing, scientists across the campus have easy access now to the data that you have helped us generate. Um, the second is we don't have, uh, we have, well, we have many areas across the university that have been recognized for excellence, but this recognition by the National Academy of Medicine um, as an exemplar and a case study for synergistic and re related innovation, I think is uh, really special. So kind of part two to the vision uh, that was brought together at the very first of Precision Health was not just the broad spectrum of collaboration, but innovation. And uh, I think you've accomplished that. Uh, I like seeing the COVID uh, example. I thought that was a really great example. Although I have to say, based on my many, many COVID tests, that was a very gentle little uh, <laughs> COVID test. I think that maybe that wasn't even a real COVID <laughs> test. I felt like I was getting a brain biopsy every time I had mine. Um, coming back to the collaborations, uh, I got some numbers from probably Rachel or uh, Sebastian or Bambaji or Gina or somebody put all these together, but that there were collaborations over 23 schools, centers, and groups. Uh, that, that is very impressive. And it's been, uh, I think synergy is the right word, and, and you mentioned it, Sebastian, I think, and Jenna did on the video, that there's something in it for everybody. And it's not uh, the way sometimes, decades ago, these collaborations would work in that I need a little bit of your thing to make my thing better. Um, th these are really great collaborations. Um, and you've had great collaborations with uh, many of our uh, most prominent and best funded uh, research centers and institutes, the Taubman Center, the, the Department of uh, Learning Health Sciences, the Elizabeth Weiser uh, Caswell Diabetes Center, Eisenberg Depression Center. So, you know, th those also bringing those together as part of this family that is using a range of tools 
to accomplish this goal of improving health, I think, is fantastic. So I, I remember so well when we started this journey. And as Brahmaji said on the video, um, different institutions have had different kinds of goals and different kinds of um, impact from their precision health uh, initiatives. And I think I don't know of any that have uh, brought forward the breadth and the excellence and the innovation toward improving health. And so I can only thank you for doing that. And I can't wait to hear about what your vision is for the next five years. So thank you very much. Thank you.